January 4, 1659, or 60. Early came Mr. Vanley to me for his half year's rent, which I had not in the house, but took his man to the office and there paid him. Then I went down into the hall, into Will's, where Hawley brought a piece of his Cheshire cheese, and we were merry with it. Then into the hall again, where I met with the clerk and quartermaster of my lord's troop, and took them to the swan and gave them their morning's draught, they being just come to town. Mr. Jenkins showed me two bills of exchange for money to receive upon my lord's and my pay. It snowed very hard all this morning and was very cold, and my nose was much swelled with the cold. Strange the difference of men's talk. Some say that Lambert must of necessity yield up. Others that he is very strong and that the fifth monarchy men will stick to him if he declares for a free parliament. Chillington was sent yesterday to him with the vote of pardon and indemnity from the parliament. From the hall I came home, where I found letters from Hitchingbrook and news of Mr. Shepley's going thither the next week. I dined at home and from thence went to Wills to Shaw who promised to go along with me to Atkinson's about some money. But I found him at cards with Spicer and Devines and could not get him along with me. I was vexed at this and went and walked in the hall, where I heard that the Parliament spent this day in fasting and prayer, and in the afternoon came letters from the North that brought certain news that my Lord Lambert, his forces were all forsaking him, and that he was left with only fifty horse and that he did now declare for the Parliament himself, and that my Lord Fairfax did also rest satisfied, and had laid down his arms, and that what he had done was only to secure the country against my Lord Lambert, his raising of money and free quarter. I sent to Wills again, where I found them still at cards, and Spicer had won fourteen shillings off of Shore and Vines. Then I spent a little time with G. Vines and Maylards at Vines at our vials. So home, and from thence to Mr. Hunt's, and sat with them and Mr. Harley at cards till ten at night, and was made much of by them. Home and so to bed, but much troubled with my nose, which was much swelled. <laughs>